we lose. So what st what triggers it? What starts the? Otherwise, the end. What actually triggers it is. Um, so like, how do you start this motor up? Okay. Start it by uh, battery. Licensing. I'm going to the starter here. <laughs> turn it over a couple times. Oh, licensing is pretty easy. Okay. If you want to uh, make a product, this gets to figure out where it is and uh, exactly and you, uh, how to time it and, and and it can, some product. Um, okay. Then we it goes to its routine of uh, uh, regulating these two the so coils are in here. Top one squeezes it down. There's uh, an orientation that takes place in the noble gases. It only adds a uh, radio, uh, radio frequency to it. And just the way, so it strips the uh, electrons off of those and it does it uh, by leveraging from the biggest one to the smallest one. Because uh, that's how energy efficient uh, it is. And then when a certain amount of uh, populace of Helium atoms have are naked, uh, and are, uh, then alpha particles. Uh, we put more than uh, 153 uh, thousand volts of potential from two different sides, at least, through it. That allows the atoms to smack together or interface in such a way so that they leak this energy. The quantum comes out and. Nature uh, tries to put it back in by forming the aforementioned uh, shock waves. In that. And as long as we push on the outside, not too hard, to collapse it. But in reality, it would be hard to collapse it because the mean pressure is like 22,000 psi. Peaks of 41,000. Uh, so it's hard, but it's the other mechanisms around it that you have to be careful you don't crash with it. And uh, we get to run it under 3,000 RPM because when we try to stop it before it's um, taking most of the energy back, then some is left over and we can run at risk of getting some plasma. We get a temperature rise where it goes. So we stay under 3,000 RPM, but the torque we get out of it, even by pushing against the 1,000 pounds per square inch, it's about 7,000 pounds on that piston, uh, gives us uh, 400 foot pounds of torque from 200 RPM to 2,800 RPM. Say it's safe for that 3,000 uh, wow. per cylinder. How long can the unit, or can it run indefinitely? Uh, yeah, until the mechanicals start to break down. And what's the <laughs> life of that usually? About 10,000 hours. 10,000 hours? Yeah. Uh, that's what we're projecting. Now this with two cylinders, it makes it really balanced in one way, but it doesn't have a balance shaft, so it's a little mechanically unbalanced. You need to talk but to him. It's not bad. That hurts. Um, you're, you're it's produced 800 foot pounds of torque, so at 1800 RPM, it is 274 horsepower. That's, that's 160 kilowatts. This is only an 18 kilowatt the generator here. So we'll do this for a long, long time. The biggest problem we have is that with that much heat, we may get some annihilation of the helium and making a couple of different things. Very, very improbable. The bigger probability is that um, during the situation, we get some uh, helium leaking out. This helium will go right through the aluminum. It's an inch thick aluminum. It goes through like a sponge. So okay, we have to refill the repopulated with, with some helium. And uh, that's more of a maintenance than a refill. Because again, our fuel could use from somewhere else that big, uh, you know, uh, waste or uh, reservoir of energy that's out there. So we don't know where it is. It's just like